Hello everybody, Camelia here. Welcome to a new video. Today I have for you my make of uh, September from the Clip Mode September 2023. If you've seen my uh, Clip Mode flip through video from uh, a few uh, weeks back, this one, I'll put a link in the video description, you know that I was planning to uh, make a dress out of uh, this uh, issue. Uh, uh, in the end I made two tops. So uh, just because I know that I'll get much more wear from uh, a top than uh, from a dress in this uh, time of the year and I'll talk a little bit uh, further uh, later in the video about it, about my choice. But first of all I just want to say that um, you know I was thinking about my uh, why I'm making the videos here on YouTube and what uh, brought, brought me to this uh, thinking was the fact that uh, last week I posted a video tutorial on uh, how to uh, gather um, a sleeve with a serger and in order to add a cuff and also I gave there, there a few uh, tips and tricks or my way of uh, doing that really easy and uh, as nice as possible. So I, was, I added that video onto the channel and <laughs> My husband was making fun of me that the video had, uh, I don't know, after an hour or two, only 20 or 30 views. And uh, because you know he's always watching all uh, kind of uh, videos with uh, hundreds of thousands of views and I was thinking that, you know, first I was thinking, well, that's not, that's not nice to, to laugh about it. But then I was thinking, you know, if I had in my sewing room 20 or 30 people to look at me and to try to learn from me, I will feel really, uh, how should I say, grateful. I mean, having the possibility, um, you know, through YouTube in this case, to um, to share the things I know that, and I know that they are working with other people and making their sewing life a little bit easier is actually a really big honor. And it's, it doesn't matter if there is only one or two or three or twenty or thousand. So I was thinking later in the day, I was thinking, well, 30 people that watched my video and if they watched it and they got some tips to, to, to put that sleeve easier and that cuff easier, that's really, that's really why I'm doing all these videos. So I'm really thankful for everybody who is here on the channel, whether you are for a video, for a sewing pattern review, for a tutorial or even only for a flip through into a magazine. I'm really grateful that you are here. The channel is already almost uh, to 3,000 subscribers and I think I think this is my thank you um, word to you. And again, I, I think it's really great that through YouTube I do get to, to share the things I know that other people are getting to, uh, to make their sewing adventures a little bit easier. Because I know in the beginning for me it was pretty hard when I started really in the first day and I wanted to start making a Buddha pattern and I was thinking what is the straight of grain of the fabric. I could not understand and the Google was not so powerful at the time, the sewing world was not so powerful at the time, so it was really a matter of a lot of searching. So you are in luck because you are now in these times with YouTube. But now, so I'm going to continue with, uh, with my videos, the tutorials, the sewing pattern reviews and all that, even if there are only 20 people watching. Because, again, if I had 20 sewing friends here in my room, I would be really, really happy to have them. And I'm really, really happy to have you here on my channel too. So, today we are going to talk further about my make from uh, September, Clean Mode September 2023. Uh, it is September, right? Actually, it's October because, you know, they go uh, a month uh, in advance. So, this is the October issue 2023. And, uh, as I said in my flip through, a few weeks back I was planning to make this dress so this will be dress number eight and you see is the one with uh, the gathers here on the sleeve you can see it really nicely here on my top and this uh, pattern is actually the same as this one only here they added um, seam in the front and in the back in order to have all these gathers of course the side seams and actually is also the same as this one here as dress number 10 where this one is really the basic top with um, a much uh, lower neck band and uh, actually a little bit like this one well you, 
you could think the help of this tech band and then with a, a tighter sleeve. In this one I did adjust the sleeve a little bit and I'll talk you through uh, in a moment. So something like that. In, in the simple dress, in the blue one here, they have only I think three centimeter or three, three or two, two centimeter only wide neck band. Um, first I was thinking I'm going to make uh, the dress, you know, the the full length, like this one, they have it only as a dress in the magazine, but I, I know myself and I know that I am going to want to have, this is actually my favorite kind of top, a turtleneck, really nice and, and tight, and I can put a cardigan over it, or you know, like this, today I wore this one with only a jeans jacket, so I knew that I'm going to grab uh, more to a top than to a dress. So I decided uh, start, uh, from the beginning to make uh, to make a top. Um, of course, as always with the knit mode, the, the first thing that is to focus is the, the size. Uh, knit mode is drafting for 1.72 m, I'm only 1.69 um, and I always need to make uh, length adjustments. I am almost a perfect size 40 regarding the width for bust, waist and hips. Only my bust is one centimeter bigger than uh, uh, their size 40. Um, but I do know that here in this area I have a little bit of extra length and I always um, take a size 38 for the length of the armhole and also for the shoulder, a size 38 and then from uh, somewhere the half of the um, armhole I am blending to a 40 and then all the way down 40. Um, in this case I did the same, I also, so I did use here a size 38 for the length of the shoulder and also here, this area on the neckline, I'm also always uh, using a size 38. So even with using a size smaller than the rest of, the, of my body measurements, I also made a um, small a narrow shoulder adjustment, so I took one centimeter away from, uh, off from the shoulder length and you can see now that the shoulder length is pretty, well, I'm going to pull myself a little bit together, you can see it is really nicely on the top of my shoulder, but a uh, narrow shoulder adjustment is something that I do in a lot of patterns. Also another adjustment was to make um, a sway back adjustment, I do have a camisole here under so it's, uh, it's punching a little bit, but actually the length is really nice on the back. Maybe you can see those. I'm trying, going to try to put some pictures in one of these sides. So, uh, sway back adjustment, and I think that was it. So, with that in mind, I was thinking because it's always the question what kind of fabric I should use. Because they have uh, in the clip order, I use they, I use, I wish they will um, go more into the type of fabric that they are using for the patterns. Because in this case, in, 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 uh, in this dress, they say that they used, um, they call it a woolly uh, tricot or a woolly jersey with, uh, with, a, with a bit of structure, as you can see here. Well, that tells me actually completely nothing about the, the, the stretch of the fabric. So only from looking at these pictures and guessing, I guess, and also because this one, for example, is made in a cotton jersey, I was thinking about what kind of stretch I will need. So I chose to make, and this one was really, I was definitely thinking that it's going to be uh, as a test garment because I was, I had no idea if it's going to be uh, correct, the, the stretch. I used this, um, this is a really great fabric, I had, uh, this is from, uh, from Dresden. They call it uh, Angora Soft, I think. As you can see, it's a sweater knit. It's a little bit of that uh, melange uh, type, you know, with a little bit of grey fuzzy hairs. But really, just a little bit. And this is the back. It's really uh, a knit fabric, a sweater knit. And I have it... When they brought it uh, online on Dresden, I was thinking I have um, a similar turtleneck which I made, I think, five, six, six, ten years ago, I don't know. 
and I always wanted more of those but I could not find the right fabric and this is actually the same kind of fabric so when they brought this one uh, online I think I have it in six or seven colors because I was thinking yes this is my fabric I need to have it so they have it in uh, uh, pink and greens and uh, camel and all kind of uh, also this one in white and cream I don't have them all but I do have a navy and blue I don't know if I have something light blue I'll have to check. But they do have it in a lot of colors. This is the one that they call, I think, Bordeaux or something like this. So, uh, this was my first choice because I really hope that it's going to work. So I cut it and actually because I had, I wanted to, to uh, press the fabric before starting, I pre-cut a piece of it without measuring too well, obviously. And I realized after I cut some of the pieces when I had to cut this piece, which is actually uh, a strip of fabric that is getting gathered, I realized that my piece was not big enough. And I don't want to cut to waste fabric and to cut more, so this gathering piece here is actually 10 centimeters um, shorter than what the, the, what the pattern is calling for. So I'm just going to show you here. This is the original sleeve. You see, this is the original sleeve, how you... Call, how you uh, take it from the pattern sheets and they have here again uh, this is the base sleeve that you can use for the other uh, dresses where there is no or tops where there is nothing on the sleeve but here you can you have two lines where you need to cut add seam allowance on each of them and then you have actually you get a three piece sleeve let's see like this so you have here uh, you have a front piece, always put the notches or make a note that is the front. This is the back with two notches and in between you get this long strip of fabric. In the pattern it was supposed to be lengthened by uh, 37 centimeters, but uh, I think mine is only lengthened by 27 because I did not have enough fabric on my table. So. But I think depending on how thick the fabric is, I think this is something that it should be adjusted because I'm thinking maybe if I had here 10 centimeters more in the length, I think it would have been just a little bit too much. But this is a really easy detail to make. So you have the strip of fabric, always put the, um, the notch for the top of the sleeve where it should going to meet with the, with the shoulder line. I chose to leave it a little bit without too much gathers here at the top you can see and I used my serger to add the gathering stitches again sewing from the back of the fabric differential feed of the serger on the highest uh, point and the stitch length the longest length I think in my case it's a four and that's what I used for the, the two to gather both sides of this strip and then sew them on the sleeve. Really easy. Something only uh, to keep in mind when you are doing this, if you are planning, I think it's a really cool sleeve, very easy to make actually. Uh, when you put, uh, when you make the gathers, try to to make them that they are going horizontal and they're not, not going to go, you know, on a diagonal or something like this. I think this is something that uh, is requiring a little bit of finesse, but it's really not difficult. So um, I was making I, the top to put it together, you only saw the side seams and, and the shoulders of course. And uh, I did cut it from the beginning a little bit shorter than, shorter than what you get in the pattern. Uh, for example, this is the back. And the original you get it a little bit, I think, 5-7 centimeters longer and then you need to add more for the dress. But I did measure myself a little bit how I liked it and just cut it from the beginning a little bit uh, shorter. For the sleeves, to be honest, I think I could have add one or two centimeters, but I did cut them, uh, uh, so I did put the sleeves on and put it on and then decided how shorter I want them and then take uh, into account also the cuff. But in my case, I did go a little bit too short, I guess. Anyway, I love the top. So after I, uh, I put the shoulder seams together and, uh, and the side seam, I was really curious how it's going to fit. Because there are no darts and because I know that with knit model it's always a little bit funky uh, deciding on the because of the length that I'm shorter, you know, that there are patterns. 
I was really excited to see how it's going to fit and it fits really really nice I mean the only thing that I'm going to adjust and I totally forgot here but I was thinking when I made this one was the second one this one I'm going to drop on this one is a little bit better but on this one it's just it's just there the the, the under arm under arm seam I'm just going to drop it maybe one centimeter it's going to feel even better but the the fit of the bust is really nice it's really 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 nice and I'm really uh, should I say surprised well I'm just happy that I have a, a turtleneck that is fitting so so nice so I added my uh, six millimeter seam allowance on all over the top because it's just sewn on the serger all the way around really really easy for the neckline well they have uh, they have this white band which I like it because well the neck band I'm going to talk about that a bit this is the one I used and mine is just to be um, seamed with the center back seam and so on the one in clip mode they give you the measurements there and uh, the one they used in the clip mode it has um, seams on the on the sides of your neck so on the shoulder so you have uh, a front neck band and a back neck band and then you have uh, seams on both sides here on the neck I don't know why I just use this one it's always nice to have it shaped here at the back you know like this they show you how to do that in the magazine that is really nice also on the center back if you use it on the center back you get a nice shape but again I'm not sure why they used uh, um, with the seam on the shoulders I just use this one in one piece and put it to have the seam on the back I think, I think it's nicer like this uh, this one is uh, around six millimeters wide this one also and uh, the one that they used in the magazine for the blue dress is only two I think but the great thing is what I was also saying in my uh, flip through uh, video that uh, I'm looking for my glass of water that uh, the great thing is that if you have a top like this this is this is a basic um, knit top I mean you can do whatever I can cut this with a V I can make a deeper neckline and make some um, short sleeves for just a basic t-shirt I can add from the armholes just go straight down and uh, make it a little bit wider or uh, I don't know, I can uh, slit and make it even more wider to, to put a band on it. I mean, there are so many options when you have a pattern that is fitting so nicely on the shoulders, on the back, on the bust. That's, that's something, it's really valuable to have that. So, talking about this one, and then also going back on the type of fabric that you use for this top, especially because it's pretty fitted. Um, and as I said, I think I think this top is really quite accurate if you think on based on the measurements from Knit Mode. So it doesn't have a lot of ease. Actually, it has of course negative ease because it's a um, fitted top. But as I said, my bust is actually one centimeter uh, bigger than their size 40. So on this one and having this one already, I was thinking, well, this is. Um, I don't know what it's called, it's a, it's a novelty jersey something, it's a, it's a polyester, you can see it here a little bit, it has some uh, things that they are just stitched on some places, it is stretchy, it is kind of, it, it is, I should say it's almost as stretchy as, the, as this one, uh, also like this it has stretch but it's another kind of stretch, it's not the same one as, as this one. So I was thinking I will have to add just a little bit extra um, room for this one. So I added from the armhole down all the way here. You will see how it fits in the pictures. I added one centimeter on the side seam. So it, I, I gained a total of two centimeters per side seam. And of course I added also, I well here I added more into the sleeve. But if I was to make the sleeve uh, the same um, like this, a small uh, um, slim sleeve. I would have add also here all the way one centimeter. But because I wanted, in this case, I was afraid that it's going too much to be too much strain on the fabric. 
I wanted a little bit more volume on the sleeve and you see it bet better in the pictures. I added from the arm, well I added from the uh, point of the armhole and I'm going to show you here. I added from here, I added, I took into account the one centimeter because otherwise, you know, my arm bow it was one centimeter because, because I added to the side seam here. So I, I took into account one centimeter extra here at the top and actually I went all the way straight down two and a half, two, let me think, five centimeters like this with my ruler. So I added quite a bit on both sides, I did that directly onto the fabric in order to get some extra volume here on the sleeve. And to finish the sleeve later, I just used some um, ribbing. I have a fly or something, mosquito. I just used uh, some ribbing um, also on my sleeve, the, the width I wanted, go away. And uh, then I just um, stretch it to fit, to fit the sleeve. And now I have, uh, you see in the pictures, it's just a little bit more, um, I don't know, a little bit of extra in the sleeve. It's, I think it's working nicely with, with this with this fabric. So I think these ones are two very successful tops. I did wear this one today out and now I have this one all the way all the time on. I just took the pictures and I was thinking that um, this is also a great pattern to make myself some of those really um, basic tops you know to wear under uh, wool uh, sweaters. I have some wool sweaters that are a little bit itchy. So I have also from Dresden. This is a viscose um, ripped jersey. It's very stretchy and in this case because this one is very soft and very stretchy it's much stretchier than the, than the red one that's, that's for sure as you can see in this one I'm going to use I think the original uh, pattern with the only 6mm seam allowance so without the added of 1cm but I'm going to I'm definitely going to drop the armhole about a centimeter or I don't know maybe 7 millimeters or something like that just to give me a little bit more uh, room here but this is also a great option and if I want to go even thicker I had also this option and this one is a, a really thick uh, ripped jersey and in this case I think I will also this one is um, pretty stretchy but I think I'll definitely use this uh, version with the one centimeter added on the side seam in order to give me a little bit of uh, space and definitely I am going to uh, adjust the armhole. So this was my uh, take on the clip mode uh, dress so all started with the dress uh, 8 with the really funky uh, sleeves. So this was my take on it. I hope you, you got some, some uh, tips. I don't know if I forgot something. I, everything is made with the surgeries. The, here is the hem. Actually on both of them the hems are done with uh, the cover stitch machine. But again this is a great pattern that you can use also for even for, for the dress version that they have. So I hope you enjoyed my video, don't forget subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you, if you like the video, if you have any questions or I don't know suggestions or whatever, put them here in the comments, I love to read your comments and uh, stay tuned for more videos this week, uh, as I said in my previous video in the tutorial um, at the end of the week Designer Stitch is coming with their new pattern so I'm going to make a video review for that one and also I have of course uh, the monthly um, release from Sew Over It. I didn't make it, I didn't make it, I'm going to make it today or tomorrow. I have the pattern ready. So I'm going to try to do that also uh, this week to put it on the channel. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you got some useful information and I hope to see you next time. Bye!